and welcome back to Grim Walkthroughs, or welcome to Grim Walkthroughs gameplay video of Crosscode Demo! I'm this one, you are playing Crosscode Demo again, let's get started with the more exploration, shall we? Oh, whoops. Here we go. Let's try to actually kill everything this time, shall we? Alright, let's keep moving. Let me just remind myself of controls. Alright, you can. Yeah, there you go. Alright, there you go, I'm ready. Actually, look, I, didn't, I just noticed she has a blade in her hand. Uh, yeah, okay, let's keep moving. Suck it. Oh. I'm, I dodged it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, can't touch this. Oh, 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 oh I wasn't paying attention. I'm not dual to games like this. Oh, you know I did. Ow! Oh. I'm just not used. Uh, for those of you that ever watch my channel uh, a lot, you, you um, if you watch my channel, like you would know that I have a really troubled time playing games where I'm supposed to watch two things at once, as I have tunnel vision. Uh, which works fine in shooters and works, which works fine in shooters and vehicle games, but in top-down games where you're supposed to watch your character as well as everything else, uh, it doesn't quite work out for me, as you can probably already tell. Just don't wipe it out. Wipe it out. Wipe it out. Oh, ow. ow. Can I just? Oh, space. Okay, that works too. Oh, my video, here you go. I dark game, like, yep. Yeah. Also, what doesn't help is the fact that my, my reaction time is dead on accurate. I do things as they are needed, not a second before, not a second after. Uh, which is why I'm being killed, because this game doesn't like to react that quickly sometimes. Apparently. Aren't you? Oh, yeah, that's quite, uh. Oh. Get moving. Got one. I got it. I got you. I have your number. Oh. Ah, I, I saw him, but I didn't. Ah, would you stop? Would you stop being jerks? All, all you jerks. All every single one of you. All jerks. Now get above your face. Oh, you stop. Ah, I did it again. I pressed it. I pressed it as it happened. I pressed it exactly when I needed to press it and it wasn't good enough. What I need to do is I need to turn down my reaction time. I need to or turn up my reaction time. So I basically when I I need to press the button before they kill me. Not right as they kill me. That's what I need to do. But it's a very, very difficult apparently for me to do that. Oh. I thought game. Ah, I thought game. I, I Okay, just kill me, just kill me. Yeah, this this uh, exploration is definitely not for the faint of heart, I can tell you that much right now. Uh, actually... Uh, I want to know, why am I feeling so much... Okay. Can I equip that anyway? I'm not doing. I don't know. I don't know what they're owning me so far. Unless this game's supposed to be really difficult. That's another thing entirely. Then. Why aren't? Oh, I keep forgetting. Ow! Ow! ow. I, I I did it again. I did it again. I pressed. I pressed right mouse button as it happened. As it happened perfectly. I stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop myself and the game. Oh, where'd you come from? And they're owning these. These are like level one enemies that they're insta killing me, which I find to be very odd and not, and weird. 
looks like a dog thing. You wanna play hardball? I can play hardball. Oh, I can stun him. Took that. Hey, right, I can stun this guy and open her like that. There we go. Uh, Alright, there we go. Oh. Yes. Do this. Uh, oh, ooh, nice dodge. Myself. Oh ho! Oh! I don't! Come on, shoot this thing. I wish, uh, I wish instead of it being contextual, your uh, BRP and melee usage, I wish uh, you actually swap between the two as it, would have been, as it would be better. Or at least give the option to do that. Because as you can see, I'm having trouble uh, mentally keeping my mouse where it's supposed to. The thing is, I never played a game like this. I thought game. I thought game. Don't be like, don't be like all, I mean, don't be like uh, since crate now game. Let me dodge when I can dodge. Be very nice. We got you. Oh, I. Okay, I got dodge into my chest. I mean, it's actually not the game's fault. It's my fault. I'm just not accustomed to the controls quite yet. All right, there we go. Oh, maybe I should try out uh, these. Let's try fire. Actually, no, let's try ice. There we go. Oh, let's totally save right here right now. Alright, let's look high. Uh, do 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 do. Oh, yeah, three out of seven. Perfect. All right. Let's troll one of these guys at time, shall we? That's a miss. Uh oh, we draw them all three anyway. They all like, oh, let's get, let's get her. She shot one. She shot you. She, you shot Bob. How dare you shoot Bob? We're going to murder you now. Yeah, you just keep doing this. Dodge. Oh, okay, I get it. You're supposed to dodge. Shoot your feet up, please. Are you supposed to wait for it? Dodge. Uh, when they do the jump thing, when they do the sonic jump roll. Uh, when they do the sonic jump. Oh, okay. And yeah, when they do that sonic jump roll, you're supposed to dodge it as it's coming towards you instead of like the other roll where you just, uh, oh, where you just dodge it beforehand. Got another one. Uh, I dodge kind of. I see, you're supposed to do that, basically. Okay, okay. I have you now. Suck it. Suck. BRP. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Oh, it was hurting a little bit. All right, let's save once again. I'm still wondering how many saves I can possibly have. All right, how are we doing? Hi. All right, we need four more. I have the feeling that this game is supposed to be like the Dark Souls of top-down action games, where basically there's a lot of lots of uh, precise timing that should need to be done, actually. Or, or Batman, that works too. I mean, it's not, it's not Dark Souls in terms of difficulty, it's Dark Souls as in, as in, I mean, as in, if you mess up, once you die. So, we have to be very careful, and you're also supposed to learn the enemy patterns and stuff like that. Take like that. Oh, go. Nice dodge. Uh, I do oh, I can jump on this? Totally. Come, come hither. Come hither. Oh. Okay, we got some multi, we got some multi-level touring combat. Just keep firing at the any guy that presents himself. Get up there, get up there. Get, okay, you can't dodge up stuff. Which is logical. Which is logical. These guys. For like, again, for level one enemies, these guys are terrible. Although, actually, they might be not level one. This might be a later on area in the in the game. Because I'm not totally. Come on, take a second, take a second. Got one. Oh, I did that. You shall suck it. Suck the RP. Thank you. Yeah, let's get that piece. I we need like one more, right? Yeah, you there. there we go. Uh, I'm nowhere making that cap. I got an idea. I jumped on the lower level accidentally. I meant to jump on the higher. I meant to jump on the higher one. 
Jump here. Jump here. Oh, I missed. I can. Oh, I can do this. Nope, can't. How about you? Oh, duh. Wait. You. I'll get. Uh, I like this. Actually, yes, like this. Yeah, we can't swim all that well, can we? Alright, so maybe not here. Nice little secret area, though. Oh, but wait, you see this bridge? There must be something to get to it. We found that way already. We got a guy to talk to over there, but... Okay, let's keep looking for something to jump onto, like right here. Go jump on this. Jump on this, jump on this, and over here, jump on that. And the jumping puzzles in this game are actually really well done. I messed up. Oh, I can just do this. Wait, wait. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, jumping puzzles in this game are really well done. Even though you don't have, even though you don't have a jump mechanic per se, as you do just jump. You just jump when you contextual jumping. There we go. Get up there. Oh, by the way, you have like. Uh, oh, by the way, the project is at like 50% uh, with like 14 days left. And again, if you like, if you like what you see, please help uh, fund the game as I have. Because uh, this game. I have a lot of fun playing it. Even, even though this is just a demo, I have a lot of fun playing it. As you can probably tell. Hi, sandwich. P times eight. Alright. Let's go back to our good man and see how we're doing. Oh, let's first save, because that would be sensible. Okay, how many saves do we have? Wow. Oh! Oh, okay, so they respawn upon entering the area. Got it. Alright, let's see. Hi. Alright, where'd we go? We gotta take one more out. Uh, let's take... Oh, let's take these guys. No... I'm trying to figure which group will be easiest to take out. And I'm not liking the results. Because this group, while it will be all by itself in a very open area, you have two... This guy. Oh, that guy. Oh, what about these guys? There's only two of them, and uh, they're all by themselves. So, open fire. Oh, oh. Ow. Ow. Yeah, you can't, there's no invincibility frames in this game. You can't, you're not invincible just because you have, um, just because you dodge. I completely dodged that one, though. That was weird. Oh, dodge. Second, second, second. No, I was like, just stop, go down. You're next, buddy. I shall stun lock you into submission. Yeah, stun locked. Ah, uh, my throat is, my throat is very, very raw right now for really no good reason. All right, let's see what you have to say. Hi! Hello, Miss Avatar. Enjoying the game? Uh, and dot, dot, dot. Of course you do. Man, I wish I had a VRP device to all go with my glasses. Oh, well, welcome back to work. Let me just check your stats. According to my data, you have enough kills to complete my quest. Great! Dot, dot, dot. Please stuff ourself. Here's the equipment, I promise. Well, great stuff, but it'll help you, I'm sure. Ooh! With that done, I'd like to take a cross-worlds vacation. A nice cross-worlds vacation. See you around, Miss Avatar. Level up! Or level up, Arrow! Alright, we got camp, hide, and we got our first stuff to mess around with. Yeah! Alright. And that's... Tap. Oh, let's... Before anything, I was eyeing my escape key, but I... But I didn't know what to. But I don't know why I was eyeing my escape key. This is the reason. Save. Before anything, save. Tap. All right, let's take out our inventory. Got more sandwiches. Now we don't want to look at this. Equipment. Hat. Explorer's hat. Back. Uh, anything for these? Yes. Oh, that's why we have two of these for each arm. Got it. 
I think that's it. Oh no, there we go. Alright, and we're ready for battle again. You know, so they hit the options. Save game. Let's go up to that guy that we saw up there. Oh, don't want to do that. Okay, let's do that. Okay, here we go. Uh, excuse me, kind sirs. Let's do it. Yo, hit hole. Oh my word. Uh, if this was if this is a horde, I mean if this is not a horde. I don't know what you would call a horde. A mess of grouping of these porcupine thingamawatsies. Right, let's look at this guy. Apparently, some hacker hid items in this area, so everyone is looking for them right now. I mean that that that. Yeah, I think we found one. And the hacker did it today, so they're not legal. I guess if I was playing legit, I should have got that uh, upgrade that I got. Hello, who's this guy? See that tree over there? Oh, uh, the square one. That's a thought. The square one. I always, I always wonder what it's what it stands for. It's probably for an event. The game mods haven't announced yet. Probably. Da -da -da. Well, only time will tell. Probably. Oh, by the way, all these characters have their own class names and their own uh, type of things. Like this guy is uh, a, a, like a quad like a quadinator, I believe. Uh, you can, uh, you can find, um, basically they, uh, over the course of their, uh, any Go Go campaign, they released, uh, they released bios for each individual, each individual class, which are, like, six of them, and, um, and basically, uh, they, they just released a couple days ago, uh, uh, you know, um, an update showcasing all of the classes, uh, instead of just the one, and, uh, he's a, he's a quad, he's a it's like a coordinator, which is basically uh, they throw cube ships, BRPs, uh, and they're basically tanks. They have heavy armor and an and a mace like weapon or a two handed sword. Th this guy is um, tr like a triblader, which is a melee character that uses a sword and it's average, uh, you know, average towards melee. Basically, mostly melee, but in sword. Well, um, V is a. V is um, a Spiromancer, and she is ba and Spiromancers are all around are are basically all are basically um all around classes, which is probably why they which is basically why she's a, a, a Spiromancer is because she's all around and you can get basically all the upgrades instead of just being instead of just being uh, sword based or armor based or uh, or range based or you get the idea all right let's keep moving oh by the way these guys throw uh, triangle shaped vrps oh by the way and you can still call them balls if you want but i don't want to anything up here nope let's go to the next area Again, we have some guy to talk to, and she is a like a pinto killer or something, something like that, or, or or is it the band? I think it's the band. But basically, these are basically she is melee. She is fist based character that is really fast. Or he is actually. I thought that was a she. Can't you say I'm in the middle of something here? Uh, dot. I know which face, kind of similar like that, or uh, stern face. Alright, let's keep moving. I guess we can kill some things, why not? Uh, I'm looking around for characters first. And then we'll explore the area more, in more depth. Alright, yeah, that's the thing right there. Oh, up up here? Anything up here? Nothing at all. Oh, oh hello! Didn't see you there. Yeah, this, 
Uh, this game's really meant for a gaming keyboard, for a mechanical keyboard. If you don't have one, you still play the game, I'm sure, but it won't be as easy. Or you can just have a controller, that works too. Again, I'm too lazy to update my controller's control, so I don't do that jump. Ah, oh, I can't make it there. Uh oh, look what we have on the hacker items. We just gotta get to it somehow. Okay. How will this work? Uh, what is that? That is a boss of some kind. A mini boss, at least. We're not messing around with him quite yet. Oh my word, we got two ranged dog things. I'm looking for the way up. It's a good thing I can touch them with no problems. Where? And. Aha! Now I gotta go all the way around, though. Jump, jump, jump! Oh! Oh, that's right. Let's use someone else right there. I had my, uh, I had my hand on my lip. I wasn't. I, I was one handed in the game. Which I guess is possible. Actually, let's go over here first. Oh, yeah, yes, let's go over here first. Aha! Let's see what this is. Secret ball plus two. Or times two. Which, that's probably for... Alright, that's for anything? Hmm. I thought it would be a weapon because it's times two, but anyway. Right, let's get back on track. But because I like the little exploring segments, I guess we can fight some. We can fight these. We can fight these guys. See how it goes. Let's do it. If I die, I'm just gonna reset my save. Not that deep. Okay, just checking. I didn't hear the sound the first time. All right, and open fire. Oh, oh, ha! Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, these these guys are Oh we got the bull in the fight. We got bull in we got the bull in the fight, that's not good. These guys are jerks! Oh he's dodging and I mean not, they're not even trying to dodge, they're just going in the ground. Oh oh yeah, don't miss the bull. Or eat the horns. Yes. Why can't I load saves from in game? Hmm. Interesting. Well, that teaches you not to die, I suppose. I was wondering what the thing would be not to die. I mean, I thought I was wondering what the intent was not to die is you can't load in game. You have to go to the main menu. Let's see if I got my item. I don't. Alright, so I guess in the exploring segment, uh, if you die, you lose everything. You have to try again. Which kind of sucks. It does kind of suck. Here she is. Here she is. Yes, yes, yes. Up and here you go. As you can see, 14 days left, and they're only right there. At least they are the fun in the fundometer now. That's nice. I want to get more. I want to get more stuff before we start fighting again. I should have that, right? I did save. But when I die, it goes. It goes away forever. It saves. Good. Fantastic. All right. I mean, if they're gonna do that, they should add a save. They should add a load to no a load save in the game, or at least make it so the game remembers uh, that remembers your progress if you die. All that stuff, of course, not what they're going for. They want you to go back to the main menu every single time. Though I don't think that is. I think that's just a part of the demo. Because that'd be very annoying in the main game if that were if that were to be the case. Ah, oh, missed. Oh, I'm not finding those guys. Uh, but also, I think in the full game that there won't be puzzle explore modes. Basically, it'll be just one big. It won't, it'll just be one solid experience. Like it should be. All right. Can I make? Yep. Can I make that jump? Just hug the edge. And ooh, ooh tree! Oh, there we go. That's the tree is perfect. Da -da -da. We're on anchor. Save. Again, I'm just checking to see how many saves I can possibly have without breaking the game. Alright. 
So what is that? Okay, those are boots. Oh, those are just... Uh, this is, these are just valuables, got it. These are for selling or just keeping if you're so, if you're so inclined. But let's, check, but, but let's check out our new shoes. Oh, but oh, more health, yes, please, and more defense. Actually, is there any other armor that does that? Or are they all flat upgrades except for that? Yeah, I think these are just flat upgrades. Yep. It's only the shoes that are side grades. Basically, those were more. Um, these are more. These are more speed. No, these are more fuck. I don't know what fuck is. Ah, right, yeah, I don't know what that is. All right, well, I was gonna ask around. I assume that's your speed or that's your focus, so I need to aim better with your VRPs. Maybe I don't know, but I'm pretty sure one of the NPCs could tell you. I can't get a chance to uh, talk to them, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. All right, let's keep moving over here. Right, what do we have? Oh, more items. Hello, blazing bun. I think it's faster to just look through this. Okay. Have the inventory then? Okay. I'm saying that gives me uh, fire abilities. How do I favor it? Oh well. Yeah, let's get more defense. Oh, I need two CP. I already find them. Fine. Yeah, because defense is what I really need. I need to stop taking all that tons of damage. That'd be really nice. Well, let's save again. I mean, I have a feeling that they're still working on their saving in this game. Seeing what it's like. Oh my word, for these guys. You can barely take out three. I mean, you did take out three, so yeah. And two, bull and two bulls. I'll say this is the high level area. Uh, I mean, if we were kind of one shot by the bull, uh, then yeah, we're not going to mess with them yet. Mm, okay, are we back where we started? No, we're in a completely different area. Oh, look. You can see these rocks. You can see how I jump on the rocks. So, yep. Ah, oh, I thought that would work. It almost it kind of sort of worked. Yeah, it sort of worked, but kind of doesn't. Okay. You can jump across that most assuredly. We just gotta follow this. Can't jump there. Let's go down here, see if we can jump on this. I mean, uh, trying to find these hidden items is basically a game, uh... Is this a game of following the landscape and seeing where you could possibly jump from? It's really cool. I like this. I like this aspect about the game. I like this aspect about the game. Alright. We could also jump from this. Yeah, but the water is... That they are... You know, we are... Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I wonder if they ever built in the fishing system again. But we're learning some history of the cross world of the cross worlds game. Uh, there used to be a fishing mechanic in the game, but it was taken out for whatever reason. Or maybe it wasn't. Or maybe it wasn't in the game, but it was a feature that they wanted to do, and they never got around to it. Whatever the case, it's not in the game anymore, and it either was or was an idea to be. Interesting. Well, hello, you were kind of up here. Boy, gold sky. I can totally pick these guys on. Both are friends. I don't think so. Oh, alert. 
the two guys up there. Oh, I'm going to totally take them on the f for the final of the episode, and it'd be hard too since we're all up in this kind of little area. Good day, madame. I see you play a crass class of a lone spiromancer. Dark my thought. A view I consider a view I consider very rare. Got that question mark? Kind of sad in face. It was pleasant. It, it was a pleasant event to meet you. And then he uh, walks out. Or shall or uh, uses or uses an ability to go to a different location. Either way. Um. Yeah, let's take these guys on. Of course, we do our saving. That's because if we don't save, then bad stuff happens. Or if we don't save, then we have to restart the game over again. So let's save. Alright, so. Ding, 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 pop. Get up there. Ah, you got me. Let's get to. Ah, uh, here we go. This works. Get up. Oh, this. Is, when I was saying this fight was going to be tough, I wasn't lying. Oh, ow. Okay, okay, if I have to dodge, I have to dodge off the cliff. I mean, yeah, it's a good idea. Oh, ow. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I tried to dodge, but nothing happened. Stop. Wipe him out, wipe him out. Got one. Get the cliff, get off the cliff. Ow, oh. Tap. 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 Oh, Tap doesn't work in combat. Tap doesn't work in combat. That's good to know. Let's open fire. Gotcha! Haha! <laughs> we did it! Victory success! Here was just two of those guys, and we took on three and lift or four, but I just wanted. But this battle was hard anyway, as as basically this was a small area, they made it go up and down, and it was a challenging fight. It was a challenging fight regardless of how many enemies there were. Not making not saying that any fight in this game isn't challenging as it is. Or at least for me anyway, but yeah, we, we, shall, we shall see how the game develops, and I'll be doing more videos of these in the future, uh, just because this game is really fun, and I want to fully explore the exploration mode and do all the puzzles in the puzzle mode. So if the, so even if the game doesn't get funded, you guys can, you guys in the future can still watch uh, this demo and just enjoy what could have been. But let's hope it does be. Let's hope it can be done. Let's hope it. Let's hope uh, they do get funded so this game can come out and be awesome in the full game. All right, but anyway, so uh, you know, let's head back to the good old tile screen. As it's pretty cool. I do like the tile. I do like the tile screen a lot. Actually, before we do that, let's get tab and, up and upgrade. Oh, sorry, I want to got it. Yes, do have to level up on the screen in order for it to work. All right, the title. Yes. All right. Uh, I mean, this again. This demo is one of the best demos I've ever played. Um, it's just so polished. It's insane. And even if you, and even at the beginning of the video, I was kind of complaining with the controls. It's not really the controls. It's my. It's how I play the game. It's just. I just gotta get used to how this game works. Uh, I just gotta get used to how the controls work in this game, and then we'll be fine. Because it's not the controls like it is in Assassin's Creed, because in Assassin's Creed, countering doesn't always work, and dodging doesn't always work, and yeah, it, basically there's stuff that doesn't always work in Assassin's Creed. But in CrossCode, it always works if you just take your. It, it, it always works if, if you just uh, learn the controls better. Because, I mean, like I said about the contextual controls, I wish there was an option to turn them on and off. So if you want, because contextual controls in this game are really well done, and they and they can be and they are great, but they take time to learn. So what I wish is I wish there was a button to switch between melee and ranged and dodge and shield. Um, so you can just you know so you can switch them on and off. So yeah, so for people that prefer old styles where you have to switch between your weapons, and that's then that's one thing. Uh, but the contextual controls, they are really good, and I just got used to them. That's my problem. But it would be nice to have the option for new players, or people, or veterans of other games that are new to this game. All right, but anyway, so yeah. I guess, I mean, but anyway, so yeah, um, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you guys watching uh, this video and this series in general. I really appreciate it. Uh, I also appreciate if you would leave a comment if you'd like to, if you have any suggestions, 
on how or any suggestions on series like where I should go next in exploration mode or any tips on how to play uh, cross code demo in general even though, even if I have no tips to missing I'm in so I really did no tip and as you can see we got 14 that it is a fucking campaign and the game and the game is like uh, uh, 65 percent funded from what I can tell right here it actually says it on the Indiegogo page but you know, 14 days and it needs seven it still needs that much uh, funding uh, that's that's kind of risky but I have a feeling that the developers of CrossCode even if they fail in Indiegogo I'm pretty sure that they will keep tricking try on uh, I'm pretty sure they keep tricking on on uh, and developing the game anyway because well you, you see how nice the demo is and you see how much thought they put in the game in general so yeah I'm pretty sure it will continue even if they fail the Indiegogo campaign which they are using the Kickstarter version, or they're using the Kickstarter method of Indiegogo, where basically they have to have their, uh, they have to meet their, they have to meet their funding, or else they don't get the money, and you don't pay as well. All right, and I guess, I know why I like to, I like to thank uh, these, I like to thank the developers of Crossbow, uh, Crosscode Reckle Fish, because you guys are just awesome, and like I said, you guys, you're making a really good game, and I'm really happy that I can support you. I'm really happy that I have, and I'm really happy that I have a YouTube channel which can also help support you by um, by me making videos and then people seeing the game and seeing and they see if they like the game and, and then they go play it. I mean, and then they go uh, help your indie, and then they go help your campaign because that's what I like to do. I like to help people, uh, whether it's helping developers by getting their game out, uh, and showing people what the game is like, or helping uh, people playing the game and by you no know, yeah, helping people play the game. By asking, by answering questions and showing how the game works, and as well as helping people uh, buy games, or I'm actually helping them buy games, but I'm helping them give an, get an idea what the game is like before they buy it, uh, which is why I like to do day one stuff. Because uh, if I do a day one indie game, then people come and see what the game's all about, and if they like it, they can buy it. And that's just what I like to do. So um, yeah, and I guess see you in a second.